Let's talk about to our first Minecraft RTX map. This is called Aquatic Adventure. Now, this is why I'm playing these. One, because I just re really want to start playing some RTX shit. It's really fun. Um, I'm sorry about this uh, dialogue at the top of the screen. You can't actually get rid of it. It's really annoying. I wish you could. But we're in to a map. And this one, it looks absolutely amazing. Now, for those who don't know what RTX is, it's basically a type of graphics card that lets you play Minecraft with some like really good ray tracing and stuff settings. Now, the reason why this exists is because um, the company NVIDIA and the company Microsoft, which we all know, um, basically jumped together and made sort of these maps that we can play. Not really maps, but sort of like a way to play with ultra quality stuff. So if anything lags, it's generally because the map is probably loading in. So yeah, let's get right into it. It's kind of weird how we spawn under the water and then have to like rise up. I, I, I also don't drown, which is nice. <laughs> so yeah, if anything lags, that's how it is. Okay, so where, where do we actually go? Because I'm pretty sure on the description there was actually some puzzles. There's lots of like, it's like a sunken bridge over here. There's stuff over there. So we gotta see what that is. The thing what I love so far about this is actually the water. Why did it just do that? Oh, that was weird. Um, but yeah, the water, oh, there's loads of stuff over there. The water is something that I love the most about this so far. Oh, so we're not even in the kingdom place yet. Well, whatever it is. This looks like a big seaweed sort of structure. So do we have to go over here to begin our little journey? To be honest, I'm not really sure if I like the look of the cobblestone. <laughs> I know it looks different in the light, but it looks kind of pale. I do have a brightness on 80%, so the, maybe the brightness makes a difference with that, but who knows? And for those curious, this is like my first time playing. Simply because, well, oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I, th I thought I was running on top of the water. Wait, am I? Am I running? Oh, my light. Oh, no, I'm swimming. I thought I was running on the water. Wow. Look at the colours. Looks absolutely amazing. I love it. Well, the thing is about this so far, like, the FTX is cool and all, but you can't actually make your own um, survival worlds. Like, you can't actually generate your own worlds. So, um, what we're stuck on so far is just the idea of, like, downloading maps and playing them. I really hope one day they add a sort of, um, system where you can create your own maps. That, um, you know, you create your own worlds are, like, how you normally do in this game. It'd be really cool. But look at the colours. It looks absolutely incredible. What even makes this red light? How do you do that? Is it lava? No, it's not. It's gonna give me a blooming Caesar looking at it. Damn, it's bright. Look at that. Oh, that hurts my eyes. I'm sorry if it hurts your eyes. <laughs> oh, I like how the water looks. That is that's one of the coolest water I've ever seen in the game. Damn. It's really crystal clear and it looks awesome. Who would have thought Minecraft would, could be the nicest looking game ever made? <laughs> this map is a little bit hard to navigate your way around, so... I think right now I'm going to cheat and go into creative. And sort of like, have a look around. I think that would be quite cool. Wow, this map look, looks absolutely incredible. I would put my chunks distance up, but it'll probably lag to shit. Let's try it. Okay, I put the chunks up on max. Uh, you're probably going to get a little bit of lag. I think the frames in the top corner have dropped um, by about 10 on average. Oh, this rain doesn't help. There you go, clear the weather. This looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. Who actually built this? I and mean, it must have been made on... Um, you know, we get the thing to generate it for you. This is probably not hand built. Oh, I would have took forever. <laughs> Cast I'm looking at it. it looks incredible. I want to see what how how all this is made. <laughs> it looks really cool. It's a big like coral sort of coral reef like on the top of the castle -y palace. Wow, I'm impressed. Things I am getting 30 FPS doing this, so I'm gonna have to just change it back down. I think next time though, we'll definitely um, play a different map because this looks awesome, but it's like it's not very easy to sort of like in explore because it's like underwater 90% of it. But we can at least go inside now and have a look around. So you look at the door, you're like, oh, it looks very nice in here. You walk in, water. <laughs> God damn it, I was I had had enough of the water. 
Wow, it does look really well built inside here though. You can't lie. Oh god, what's happening? Is this glass? Is this glass? Oh, it's glass. Oh, there must have been a door somewhere. <laughs> it's hard to tell what's glass and what's um, water. So look at it. It looks identical. <laughs> nice. What even is this then? Is it a big like altar sort of abyss? A big ab abyss? What's this? Oh, uh, you've been teleported. Oh my god, where am I? Whoa. Well, how do you get this yellow light? How do you get these lights? I don't even know how you do that. We've got a solid 60 FPS now though. <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, what is this place? It's so weird. Oh, I like it though. Whoa. Objective, visit the monument. Wow, we might have to do second part on this. So it, is, it is kind of a map, but not really a map. I've put it back in adventure mode, so we can um, kind of get an exploration without messing around. Monument is this way. Should we go to monument, or should we have a look this way? Let's have a look what's down here. Oh, it's a sign. What's this? Um, oh, these are hidden hint, hidden chests. The first one can be located behind an obsidian door. The second is on a boat in a frozen cave. The third can be found after completing an underwater maze. Need a hint? Step up to the pressure plates. Well, I accidentally already did this. <laughs> okay, um... So, the, so the challenges. I'm not a fan of challenges. <laughs> Let's check what's this way really quick. Looks like something behind the glass. Oh, what's that? But how do I get through there? Can I climb up and go around? Oh. Interesting. The, the lighting in here is so good though. Like, you've got to admit. Right, I'm going to put the um survival. I don't really know how to get in and I don't really want to try it. Oh, so there's a lever. Let me guess, if you get in here it's because you cheated. You have a heavy door slide open. Okay. That sounds awesome. A heavy door slid open. Alright, so we'll head towards the monument. And let's go see what's down here. It's probably... Oh, what's this? Oh, it looks nice in here. Uh -huh. Wow. It's, it baffles me how you get this sort of lighting. You know, like this yellow here. I mean, it's probably torches behind the glass. But, I don't know. I've never seen this before. Let's just break it and have a look. Oh. It's extremely bright outside. How do you get all this, like, colouring then? Is it these lights up here? Or is it the light behind, um, yellow glass? Does that work like that? I never knew that. That's pretty cool. What is the chest at the end of here? With loads of pillars. Oh, RTX. Welcome to the monument. Collect three items scattered throughout the map in hidden chests. Return with those items or put them in the centre chest to activate the monument. Good luck. Why does it keep doing that? Oh, there you go. Uh, so, so we put the three items in this chest. Okay. Okay, so, um... Well, this way is just for this chest. Well, for that, um, doorway that I broke open because I'm a... I don't know, that was this way. <laughs> Getting turned around. But yeah, we'll, um... We'll check what is this way. Okay, so, we, this, these are the hints. So I'm guessing these are the three challenges. Let's have a look at the hints again. Three chairs, first one, you're gonna look at behind an obsidian door. Check it, is that a boat in a frozen cave? Third can be found as a complete in an underwater maze. I might save this for next time. It depends if I come back to this one. I might do another one, I might come back, who knows. Anyway, I'm gonna list on here, so yeah. Thank you for watching this. I hope that you know, it was better than, well, as good as just playing a normal map. I guess it is a normal map, but you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.